Area weather forecast, sunshine today with a high of 30, partly cloudy tonight, low 20. For tomorrow, chance for snow with a high 35. The outlook for Sunday, cloudy skies, high 32. Chance for rain on Monday with a high 45, and then the bottom falls out once again. Partly cloudy skies, the high just 18 on Tuesday. Overnight low 11, yesterday's high 32. Humidity gets 67%. Winds are calm, the pressure 30.4 and holding. Right now, sunshine and 11 here at the WFIW studios east of Fairfield. And it's time for morning coffee. Morning coffee is brought to you this morning by TTT Designs in Fairfield. They can bring your design to life. Stop in and let TTT Designs complete your vision. Custom printing available on shirts, sizes newborn through 5XL. Visit them Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Well, it's good to know they can do my 5XL, isn't it? Yeah. And when I get done with it, they can use it for a tarp out at Frontier on the uh, baseball diamond. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. And it's it's cold out there, but uh, it's warm here in the studios, and we have Colin Dunn. And I have no idea why my – do you have any idea why my kids always refer to you as the Ice Cube um, well, I like to tell myself that it's because they thought I was cool. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure that's what it was. Um, I, I know that it stemmed from a Frontier Community College um, family picnic. In it the, did. It did. I remember uh, in, that. In August, July, August, whenever it was, hotter than blue blazes. Um, yes. We were playing basketball there at, at Lakeside. Yes. Um, I, I don't know if it's, it was because I, you know, I was, I was making shots and... Or just because I was cool. I, you're, I, I, I think he's, he says he's uh, stick with cool. I'll, yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah, I would stick with that. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. well, I, I've, I've got a few uh, pieces of important information, Colin. Then we're gonna we're gonna get into the stack of stuff here in just right. a second. First Be- of all, before we do that, yes, go ahead. Thanks for the food. Oh, Co- hey, Colin brought in a My whole pleasure. bunch of food. A whole bushel basket. I'm gonna, it's gonna food. put a smile on the face of the double a double D of the dubster. Got a uh, double D. You gotta help dubster. out the family. He'll That's be right. here at ten, and he will be ready. Mm-hmm. Uh, he may be here before then. Probably. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to correct something. First of all, I've been doing that all week. Uh, I was told forever, and everybody. We even had a county board member in here yesterday. Forever, I was always told that Wayne County was the biggest area from a square mile standpoint in the state of Illinois, as far as a county. And apparently it's not? No! I remember hearing that as a kid as well. I've heard and, it. And you kind of look on the map, um, and, and it's really pretty blatantly not, not the Not the biggest. case. Yeah. And it's it's a weird, you know, it's, it's why, oddly why do you square. Think, why do you think it's that? So that that's a, a tale that everybody believes. But I told, I told it here yesterday and got calls from people saying, I don't think so, buddy. I think I'd look at the map. I, yeah. I looked at the map. We're number 23. 23? <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. 707 square miles. McLean County. McLean County. Yeah. Where, uh, uh, Bloomington. Yeah. Up by Bloomington. In Bloomington. 100 and, or 1,174 square miles. Uh, I mean, there's even my native Madison County is bigger than Wayne County. Did you have tales growing up of Madison County being no, the never. biggest in, in no, Illinois? No, we were known as the most corrupt. Okay. <laughs> and, and you still are. Absolutely, well, without a doubt. That's well, why no, I'm here. Well, maybe not. That may be wrong, too. Well. Because, you know, there's Cook County. There is. <laughs> so, That's right. And guess what? Guess, guess Cook's bigger than Wayne. Cook County is yep. bigger. It's got 900. It extends. It's Nine, huge. 949 square miles. Where did you go to college again? Uh, it's called the Illinois Institute of Technology. And it's what, on, the, what, what it's count- on the south side of Chicago. It's in Cook County. It's in Cook County? It's uh, right across the interstate from uh, what is now Guaranteed Rate Field. U.S. Yeah. Cellular, where the White Sox yes. play. Yes. Mm-hmm. About a 10-minute walk from there. So, yeah, so it's, it's in Cook County. It so, turns to Cook like 20 minutes south of the city. I hate to burst everybody's bubble, but... We're just looking for a claim to fame, I guess. You are just bringing us down. Wrong. Not the biggest. <laughs> I was so at a basketball. Go so ahead. So is Sassafras Patch out at Sandale oh, that's still one of the best? It is. Rounds? Well, it was at least from the reviewer that I read okay. from. All right. I don't, I'm not going to go up there independently and uh, make sure myself. Probably is it Sassafras Patch or Sassafras Woods? Something no, like Sass- Sassafras Patch. I okay. Yeah. Um, I was at a basketball game last night at Jasper. 
interesting. You know, remember I had the situation where I came up and the lady looked at me and looked at the sign and looked at me as to whether to determine to charge me the senior citizen rate or not. So did you get in free last night? The lady was very kind, very nice, and she said, I have to ask, are you older than 55? That was acceptable. (laughs) I had to say yes. (laughs) But it wasn't like, you know, are you older than 65, where I start to get offended. Okay, I'm just saying righteously uh, indignant at that point. You know, if if I had a high school, if if I owned a high school. Right. I would put up a sign that said, students, get in free. Adults, $3. Mm-hmm. Older than Mike Dreef, get in free. <laughs> and, I would have to, and I would have to stand there. And nobody, <laughs> and nobody would get in free. <laughs> say, Are you, do you look older than this guy? Okay. Well, anyway, I, I was, uh, the deal was, it's a beautiful gem at Jasper. Oh, it, it is. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Compared to what I remember back in the day. Oh, man. They did a wonderful they, they they have Cracker a, Jack box. You know, they have a palace. I've seen high school gyms yes. that are smaller than that. I agree that. with yes. you. Totally. Here's the problem. The problem is parking. Oh, yeah. There's not a, sure. there's not a, if you don't get there early, early, I mean, if you're not in your spot parking by like two o'clock in the afternoon, you're going to have to walk. I'm embarrassed <laughs> to admit this. <laughs> So I take off for the game at 5.30. The game starts at 6. Okay? Oh, oh, you were late. I, I took off at 5.30. <laughs> I thought it's, what, 10, 15 minutes. And it's been 10 years since I've been to Jasper. I hadn't been there since the new gym, okay? Mm-hmm. So, uh, you, you know, you go out. Now, this road goes, <laughs> it starts to narrow <laughs> considerably, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, and so I go, okay, I got to get back. I, I made a wrong turn. Something's wrong here. And I'm, I'm getting mad. And, and next thing I know, I'm at Merriam. Yeah. Okay? So I, I come back 15, past the radio station, yeah. and I go and I'm, I, I, I pull over to the side and I put in uh, my map quest thing, my direction uh, app. Uh-huh. And I put Jasper School and I pressed it. And it's telling me to turn <laughs> south on 15. Well, I know that's wrong. I think I know where Jasper is. Wait, wait, I, I, I find the right path. I get there. It's the middle of the first quarter. And, and I did get to see, you know, the rest of the game. Did but you have to park at the cemetery to walk? I, have, I almost parked at Merriam again. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> and, and you park. It's a one-lane road, and you park with your vehicle half off of it, and then there's no lights, and you have to walk like salmon upstream with cars coming at you. Oh, it was, it was uh, harrowing to say the least, for this old guy. And then I get questioned about my age when I get there. You should get in free after that. You would think. Absolutely. Anyway, long and short, I'm going to be back on Monday because New Hope's playing. Granddaughter's a cheerleader for New Hope. And uh, so I follow him all year. And I'm going to be there for the Wayne City. This will be a good one. Yeah, Wayne City. Wayne Wayne City and uh, New Hope. On Monday night, I th- I'm not seven sure. O'clock. What, is seven, it seven o'clock. Yeah, oh, seven I, o'clock. I'll start at five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start at five and I'll stretch my face out so there's no wrinkle. I'm going to walk up and say, what do you mean on my 55? That's right. Going to get Botox over the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> get a shot or two before then. Anyway, that's that's sort of the, I, I had to do the, I printed out, and Tom, Tom Levine printed out the entire 102 counties and their size in square miles we were thorough here and let me just say i have 102 edwards county is 99 as far as the biggest it's uh 220 square miles so we have we have are we captains of data here or what are we the major of information well we are something here we sure sure are we're the generals of guffalness did you hear about what happened down at the McDonald's in Harrisburg? You were telling me about that earlier. Have you come? No, no. They got a brand new one. They they knocked down the uh, the former. Well, you know, you know the old McDonald's. They they didn't build the new McDonald's while the old one was still open. They closed oh, yeah, the old right. one. It's been closed for six months. So they've People been McDonald's have been deprived at the bit. They've been McDonald's deprived. Let me just read this story. I think this is from the Southern Illinois. Um. By the way, just for everybody's know, everybody knows this. I want everybody to, to, to have this in their mind. A Big Mac, since I'm on this diet, Colin, and thank you for bringing the donuts, by the way. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, Did it just for you. I'm on this diet, <laughs> and so I think about this all the time. 
a Big Mac is 540 calories. I would have thought it had been much more than that. Me too. In eighth grade, when they came out with the Big Mac and they did the two all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, lettuce cheese. Yeah, you know, pickles, onions, and on a sesame, sesame street bun. bun. Sesame street bun? No, seed. Not to, said, no, 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 said no, street. No, no, sesame <laughs> seed bun. I, I, I could eat two of them. Oh, I could eat two of them back in the day. And did. And fr- with fries. Uh, I didn't do fries. And a Diet Coke. Well, of course, you have, to have a, you have to have the Diet Coke to be able to cover the 1,200 calories you just put down mm-hmm. your throat. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, this story from the Southern Illinois and people began lining up outside the Harrisburg McDonald's on Wednesday night before midnight in pursuit of a dream. Free Big Macs for a year promised to the first 100 dine-in customers when the restaurant opened at 5 a.m. on Thursday morning, yesterday morning. One been, o'clock they started lining up? Before midnight. Before midnight. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. You, you to, what kind of life do you, I mean, do you, uh, all right, all right. It had been four months since the old Harrisburg McDonald's was uh, torn down. Thursday's grand opening was set to be a day of celebration, but there were problems. Uh-oh. At 7 a.m., they were going to give 50 Egg McMuffins away. At 9 a.m., a Fitbit. Well, you'd need that after the two McDonald's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big Macs. Walk this stuff off. <laughs> a few hours later, a flat-screen TV they were going to give. So everybody was lined up for this. So uh, to many, the Big Mac giveaway was the day's main event. The free Big Mac won every week, all year, a uh, street value of $207. Okay? With crowds swelling early Thursday morning, a McDonald's staff member handed out tickets to the first 100 people in line, indicating that they had won the Big Macs. So you understand, it's 1 a.m., and there's already 100 people out in front, and it's, what, 22 degrees? It's pretty cold. All right, so out of compassion, the McDonald's folks go out, and they see over 100 people. They give 100 people the Big Mac certificates. Well, those people, they, they, they went home. Why would you there's, stay? Well, there's no reason to stay, right? Well, yeah. Well, guess what? Another hundred people show up and get in line, and nobody has told them the hundred Big Mac certificates are gone. You're oh, done, man. man. There is talk about righteous indignation. Oh. I want my Big Mac, and I want it now. <laughs> they uh, they actually management in order to try to solve this problem. They handed out at least 300 free Big Macs before for a year. it was over. For a year. Okay. To be able to solve the problem. So that's like, uh, that's like, that's like 1,600 Big Macs. That's a lot of calories. That's a lot of calories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just, I, I, you never, uh, in a situation like that, I think they were worried about sort of a Black Friday kind of rush on the door. Mm-hmm. So they, that's why they said, you know, it's going to be the first 100 and, and it's not bad publicity to have a TV crew come by and see a line of 400 people waiting to get into your store, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. But, and they were trying to be compassionate. I give them credit for the compassion yeah. of saying, let's just take care of those people. They don't have to stand out there for three hours in the, in the cold. Let me just give them their, their Big Mac certificates. Now, have you ever, were you ever at the old, big, uh, old McDonald's in Harrisburg? No, I don't. Well, okay. If I, I might have, but okay. I don't remember. Now, see, I've got relatives who live in Harrisburg. My sister lives in Harrisburg, mm-hmm. and and they religiously go to McDonald's, you know, for sweet tea and Coke and sodas and that sort of stuff. I mean, there there were people lined up from through the drive through at the old McDonald's on the road, right? At times, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, and here's the thing, uh, on this whole Harrisburg thing, uh, Double D got back in for a shift. <laughs> Was he a, did, did he get a certificate and then he get went back through, in line? He went through twice. <laughs> you know, Double D would probably drive. <laughs> he would if he knew the, it. I don't words. think he knew about it. If, uh, if he would have known, I think he probably would have. Just to just to get a picture of it and put it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he probably would have. He probably would've. isn't that interesting. Going to take a break? <laughs> yeah, we do. We'll be back with more morning coffee in just a moment. 
Let Carnaby help you save this week on all winter clothing. Take an extra 25% off any yellow tag clothing item. This sale includes winter merchandise marked down 25 to 75%. Brighton's awesome Queen of Love canvas tote is free with a $125 Brighton purchase. So many new collections being delivered just in time for Valentine's Day. Don't forget, stop in this week and save an extra 25% off any yellow tag clothing item. Woohoo! Shop Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield and experience the Carnaby difference. This Friday, January 25th, from 4 to 7 p.m., Steph's Coffee Shop and Mill Shows is cooking up a patron favorite. Meat loaf, mashed potatoes, and baked beans, artisan bread, and a dessert and a drink, all by donation. Local seamstress Mindy Isaacs will join us to show and sell her unique and personalized Valentine gifts for all ages. Shop till you drop, eat till you pop at Steph's Coffee Shop this Friday and every Friday, cooking up some community spirit. Hi, this is Bill Stevens with another Time Capsule Quiz. Which month and year was it when President Reagan met with Mikhail Gorbachev in Iceland, but refused to drop his Star Wars idea? We prefer no agreement than to bring home a bad agreement to the United States. The Mets came back to beat the Red Sox in the World Series with some help from a very famous ground ball. Little roller up along first, behind the bag! It gets through Buckner! Here comes Knight and the Mets win it! Meanwhile, all these songs were winners on the radio. It's time I fall in love. Now I'm all cried out. I'll be over you. I'm only human now. Walking in the rain. Tell me what's the word I wait up. You do, baby, I love you. You give up a bad now you've heard some of the music from when. The answer and a dash of the top songs from the month and year are coming up. Do you need money now? There's no need to wait for the IRS. If you have your W-2s and you're ready to file, come on into your local H&R Block and apply for the loan product and get up to $3,000. H&R Block offers this at no cost to you. That's right, no interest and no fees. You can have money almost instantly with the prepaid Emerald cards offered at the tax desk. Your return will already be at the IRS, so you receive your tax refund as soon as possible. You can even have your tax preparation fee taken out of your refund with the refund transfer so you won't have any out-of-pocket expenses to file. With the new tax law changes, why worry if you missed something? H&R Block appreciates your business and has some of the best trained tax professionals in the industry waiting to serve you, offering drop-off service, walk-ins, or you can call to make an appointment at our convenient location in Fairfield. H&R Block is here for you. October 1986 I'm gonna take you by surprise, Amanda. Boston and Amanda, the top song of October 1986. This is Bill Stevens for tcapsule.com. Back soon with another time capsule. Hey, this is Jared Vopel at Vopel Home Furnishings in McLeansboro. I'd like to invite you to come down and look over some of this fine furniture, appliances, and bedding we got. I'll make you a deal that you can't stand to walk away from, and we'll finance it or give you a long time to pay for it, no interest. We'll deliver it to you, put it in your house, and if you need customer service, we've got world-class customer service. Come see me, South Side of the Square, downtown McLeansboro. It's the final days of the January sale and clearance event at Steffi Home Furnishings in Mount Vernon. They are jam-packed with the newest and best from quality name brand suppliers and are offering savings of up to 50%. Plus, there's up to 24 months free financing plans for qualified buyers and free delivery on most items for up to 60 miles. It's all going on now at Steffi Home Furnishings, south of the Times Square Mall on 42nd Street in Mount Vernon. Call them today, 618-242-3146. Let Dairy Queen help you kick off 2019. Stop in this month and get a four-piece chicken strip basket for $4.99. During the month of January, try Dairy Queen's Blizzard of the Month, Reese's Outrageous. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Reese's Pieces, Peanut Butter, and Caramel Topping all mixed with vanilla soft serve and blended to blizzard perfection. Need an ice cream cake? Dairy Queen will help you design the perfect cake. Stop in at 1204 West Main Street. Open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m.
Most people understand the need for life insurance, but not many want to talk about why it's essential to your financial plan. It may seem intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. Don't get overwhelmed. Get started with Country Financial. Call Beth Sessions today at 842-2186, and she can work with you to find life insurance that gives you the protection you need at a price you can afford. Life insurance policies issued by Country Life Insurance Company and Country Investors Life Insurance Company, Bloomington, Illinois. Lights, camera, action. Time to return to morning coffee on the station listened to, not just heard, WFIW. Morning coffee brought to you by TTT Designs in Fairfield. They can bring your design to life. Need the perfect banner for your business or party? Visit them on Facebook or call 516-7206 and let TTT Design and print the message you want to share. I want to remind you about the big deals, too. All you have to do in... Go to our website, WFIWradio.com. Upper right-hand corner, the big deals. They have some great deals on places to eat. I don't know why I'm fixated on food at this moment. Because there's um, a smorgasbord. Out there that Colin brought in. Mm -hmm. We're here with Colin Dunn, by the way. He's our guest this morning. A $10 gift certificate. You can get it for $7 at Three Chicks Fudgery in uh, Mount Vernon, Indiana. Uh, Gotzi's... Restaurant, same thing. Seven dollars for a ten dollar certificate. All you have to do is go online. You buy the seven dollars, you get the ten dollar certificate sent to you, or you can pick it up here. And then you can do it. Bullard's Farm Market, uh, ten dollar gift certificate for seven. Uh, the Taco fa- Factory in uh, Carmi, same thing. Jackie's Lunchbox, right here in town, and they do breakfast too. I mean, yeah. I understand. I've had. Well, we've had it. I've had, had it here. breakfast. It's pretty. It's pretty good. good. Uh, ten dollar gift certificate for seven dollars. Also, La Fuente, one of your favorites. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. $25 gift certificate. You can get it for $18. You're foolish if you don't go in and buy from the big deal store. Here's the stack of stuff. We're looking at, on this date, January 25th (laughs) in history, 1937, NBC Radio presented the first broadcast of The Guiding Light. The show remained on radio until 1956. It began on CBS TV in 1952, and it went on forever. I don't know. Is it still there? Uh, I'm not sure. All right. Well, it might be. 1949, the first Emmys were presented at the Hollywood Athletic Club. 59. Now we're starting to get into my territory, where I was born. Uh, the U.S. Uh, U.S. American Airlines had the first scheduled transcontinental flight, flight of this plane. Which plane would it be in 59? Uh, jetliner. Jetliner. In 59? Yeah. DC-10. Nope, 707. 707. Okay. Uh, JFK presented the first live presidential news conference from Washington, D.C. in 1961. Nike was founded in 64. Six, really? 1964? 64? Yeah, it was originally named Blue Ribbon Sports. Hmm. 1981, the 52 Americans held hostage by Iran for 444 days. They arrived in the United States after being released. Uh, 87, the New York Giants beat the Broncos 39-20 in the Super Bowl. In 98, the Broncos beat the Green Bay Packers 31-24. And the Broncos, uh, before that, had lost three previous Super Bowl appearances uh, with John Elway. Yeah, yeah. 99, Louisville, Kentucky, man received the first hand transplant in the United States. Hmm. Okay. Woo. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't know you could get a. Is hand it his left transplant. or right hand? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. They might have given a third one, as far as I know. <laughs> uh, 2010, Arlington, Texas, the International Bowling Museum and Hall of Fame had its grand opening. Where did it? Where did it come from? Where was it prior Probably to going to Arlington? Somewhere in the Chicago land no, area. Oh, it was in St. Louis, Louis, right across mm-hmm. from Bush really? Stadium, wasn't it? Yes. Did not know that. It, it, it was the Bowling Hall of Fame, and then it became the Cardinal Hall of Fame before they built the new yeah, stadium, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Next right. to the stadium, yes. Birthdays. William Ernest Ernie Harwell went from, uh, he was born in 1918, lived till 2010, of course, the voice. Of the Tigers. The Detroit Tigers. They fired him. And then they brought him back. Had, peop- they had to bring him back. He was the, like the Jack Buck of Detroit. Mm-hmm. People loved him. 
30, no, 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 55 seasons. Yeah, I knew it was Good close to grief. Is that incredible? That's it's almost amazing. like Vin Scully-like, isn't yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. He was named one of the top 50 bro- uh, sportscasters of all time. Only in the top yeah, 50? No, that's, I would well, have thought top 10. Maybe, maybe. Dean Carroll Jones. Dean Jones. Played in all those uh, Herbie the Love Bug yeah, movies. Yeah, Herbie the Love Bug. He died uh, in, at the age of 84 in 2015. He was um, the Love Bug, the Million Dollar Duck. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be known for that. Um, and he was in Beethoven, too. You remember Beethoven? The, the big dog? The big, the big dog, the big, yeah. Not the composer. No. <laughs> That's, that would have been a boring a, movie. <laughs> it's exactly right. Big, big, uh, what kind of dog was that? That was one um, of the biggest dogs my wife St. Bernard. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it, that's it. Uh, Raymond, Richard Raymond Finch, 66 today. He's alive. Mm-hmm. He is best known as the co-founder and producer and the former bass player of KC and the Sunshine Band. All hmm. right. I'm your boogeyman. Uh-huh. That's what I am. Dun, dun, dun. I don't, excuse me, I don't want to break into song and dance. Uh, be, now, he, he may show up on Monday with a polyester laser shoot mm-hmm. and some platform shoes. Are you living the glory days? With, with a fishbowl. Okay. With a fishbowl. I, I, love, <laughs> I love that polyester look. <laughs> it holds up. I, I, did, I did the discos. I did have I, I polyester in, outfits. I got, I got in on the early part of the Bell bottoms. Had, had the polyester pants with yeah. the silk shirt. Yeah, you yeah. Know, bell I had, bottoms. Uh, I had uh, plaid bell bottoms. Ugh. Plaid bell bottoms. And I had hair. <laughs> Lots of it. Oh, yeah. We saw, we saw a picture yeah, the other day. Yeah. Yep, I had hair all over my head. Not now. Now it's coming out my ear. Okay. <laughs> Music history. Mary Martin in 1940 recorded "My Heart Belongs to Daddy." That was a big one back in 1940. She was wasn't she Larry like Hagman's. Psych- she was Larry Hagman's mom. Really? Yes. I Mary did not Martin. know that. Yes, she was. Wasn't she also a film star too? Yes, she was. Okay. Yes. 1958, Elvis Presley's "Jailhouse Rock" became the first single ever to enter the UK pop charts as number <laughs> one. 69, Creedence. Clearwater Revival released the single Proud Mary. That's huge. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's huge. CCR in 1969. 1980, Paul McCartney released from a Tokyo jail. It's a small matter of bringing about a half pound of pot into Tokyo Airport. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I think that somebody planted on him because Paul wouldn't have done that. No. Yoko Ono in 84 donated $375,000 to a Strawberry Fields Retirement Home in Liverpool. That was nice of her. She, of course, has millions of dollars. We were talking about this yesterday. Uh, this was uh, in 87, Neil Diamond sang the U.S. National Anthem at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But I learned afterwards that he has uh, been diagnosed with Parkinson's. Yeah, that's why he stopped touring. I did touring. not know that. Yeah, he said basically as soon as he was diagnosed, I believe, he said, you know, I... I'm not going to be touring anymore. Yeah, uh, he was. He's up there, 77, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, 2010, Kiss rang the closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange. That says <laughs> finance. Yeah. <laughs> when you got mm-hmm. Kiss, first concert I ever went and saw. Kiss. Mm-hmm. Wow. Really? On the Destroyer tour. No kidding. 77, I believe. I, I always found the one song rich in lyrics. I. Want to rock and roll all night <laughs> and, and party, all party day. every day. And for a moment, the second verse. I want to rock all night. I want to dance all night. It, 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 it was exactly the same lyric throughout the ins- entire song. You know, I if it works, it works. All night and party every day. You know, what, what, what did Queen say? We will rock you? Yes. You know. By the way, if, you, if you've been to... Union Station's Grand Hall, their newest light show on the dome of yeah. Union, mm-hmm. Union Station is Queen. Really? Really good. <laughs> okay. A uh, couple other, th- an update, an update on this. Colin, you've heard of um, registered emotional support animals? Yes. yes. Do, you, do you have one? No. You don't? I do not. How about you? No. No? 
Well, this is an update because we've told you about this before. This is about 65-year-old Joey Hinney. He's a Pennsylvania man, and his emotional support alligator helps him deal with depression. <laughs> wow. I mean, how can you be depressed when you're being chased by an alligator? You don't have time. Have time. You don't have time. <laughs> Five-foot-long alligator. He said he received approval from his doctor. Of course he did. He had the alligator with him. Yeah. <laughs> Wally is his name. Wally hmm. is his emotional support animal after not wanting to go on medication for depression. He just grabbed a gator. Um, I had Wally, and when I came home... And was around him, I was okay, he said. My doctor knew about Wally and figured it works, so why not? Mm-hmm. Wally is, was rescued from outside Orlando at 14 months old. And they, they live for a long time, those gators. Oh, they do. I think Wally will outlive uh, Joey, quite honestly. He eats chicken wings. Good for him. <laughs> if he can get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> he shares his indoor plastic pond with a smaller rescue alligator named Scrappy. Wally and Scrappy. <laughs> He's got a pair. <laughs> He's got a backup. Oh. He's got a backup <laughs> emotional support animal. Wally gets tired. <laughs> Scrap. Get in the suitcase. Not an alligator suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, know, the, you know, the best part about it is when Wally, if Wally does pass away before Joey. Yeah. And I'll probably get in trouble for saying this with PETA. Yeah. But. He'll have a pair of shoes. <laughs> oh, gee. And some left over. The, view, right. the views expressed do not, do not necessarily reflect that of station management. <laughs> um, I, I thought this was interesting. You know, our, our governor is out to a real fast sprint. And uh, he has now committed to following the Paris Climate Agreement on reducing carbon monoxide. You, you you were in down in southern Illinois for a while working, right? Yes. How th- how do you think this is going to be received by the United Mine Workers? Uh, they are They're not. going to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in Illinois by up to 28% in the next uh, 10 years. Not going to like it real well. But, you know, already the, the, the high sulfur coal down there is... It's not liked. It, yeah. They, Most of them are a, going west or Arkansas to yeah. get their coal. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I just... That, I, out of the blocks, that just says yeah. to Southern Illinois, I, I don't really care. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. The Sopranos are going to come back, but not uh, the Sopranos as we know it. Were, were you a fan? I've never seen it. Have you? As a matter of fact. Uh, I, you know, it's a pretty good show, but I don't watch it regularly it, because HBO costs extra money and I'm cheap. Mm, it so. says, it's said to be one of the best TV series ever. Of course, the, the star died. James Gandolfini. Mm -hmm. But they're doing a prequel. I think they learned something from Star Wars. Yeah, it's working for them. Prequel. uh, And they they found their person for the young Tony Soprano, which is the lead actor. Yeah. Okay. It's James Gandolfini's son. Makes sense, right? It does make sense. Yeah, because they... you know, they, they look alike. They, you don't have to worry about finding a look alike. No, I mean, you don't. Genetics, there you go. Genetics, it genetics makes, help that. You look at it and you go, well, I can see where that, that is young Tony <laughs> Soprano. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes it is. Um, so anyway, that's going to be coming up. The uh, the Clydesdales are coming back. And the really? Super, Super Bowl had. Oh. Good. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're back for a renewable <laughs> energy message <laughs> in the Super Bowl. You see them... Dun, 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 is it, is it dun, methane? No. Renewable energy methane? <laughs> <laughs> they produce enough. They need to put mufflers on the uh, on the uh, Clydesdales to be mufflers. able to cut down. Yeah. They yeah, need to all one of them roll away dumpsters behind them. <laughs> you know, when they were in a parade in Alton, the mayor was behind them with a shovel. He mar- marched in the parade with a shovel behind the Clydesdales. It was great. I mean, everybody loved it. Remember the old cartoons? How symbolic. Um, yes. Fractured fairy tales? No. Where the, um, where the little guy pushing the, uh, pushing the little bucket with a, with a shovel would sweep up the no. horse stuff? No. You well, remember I, that? It was on, uh, no. it was on uh, what was it on? It was on, um, who was that? Um, oh, Tom's yelling something from the other room. And, and his boy Sherman. 
Rocky oh, and Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, that uh, Sherman and his uh, dog. I remember yeah. that. But anyway, anyway, they're going to be back. Uh, they're going to be uh, doing the dun, 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 through a uh, uh, one of those Texas uh, wind farms. Hmm. Okay, they're talking about renewable energy. Uh, out of New York, the temperature. You know, the, what happens in New York? The question is: Here's the the question: When it gets this cold, we were. In, Single digits last night. And we're going to do that again next week, I understand. Yeah. What one day, happens? One day after it's 45. When you're in New York and you have this huge collection of homeless people, what happens? They all go down to the sewers, right? Or in the, uh, in the subway. Ah, you got it. Uh, this winter, <laughs> commuters say the problem has gotten so bad they no longer can go on the subway. I was to, I went to a trip with subway with a uh, guy that was from New York, Colin, and he said to me, "We're going to go on the subway now. You have to promise me two things." I said, "Okay." He said, "You have to promise me that you do not make eye contact with anybody inside the subway car." Oh yeah. And you do not respond to anybody. So okay, fine. Yep. Get on the subway car. Sit down. I hadn't. My buns hadn't hit the seat. And there was a guy sitting next to me with a piece of paper trying to prove that he had um, AIDS and about five other diseases and he needed money. I guess I smelled like tourist. I did, I did not maintain. They, they saw you coming. I did, not, I did not break. I looked straight ahead. I didn't look as if he was there. It was the longest ride of my mm-hmm. life. Anyway, um, they say that uh, the trouble is finding a seat. In the two train from 140, uh, uh, 149th Street to 3rd Street in the Bronx, the, um, there's at least five or six people sleeping in different cars. The smell is terrible. Sometimes they actually defecate in the cars. Is that horrible or nice. gross? That, that is just... So, uh, note to self, if you're going to the Big Apple... Take a cab. (laughs) (laughs) Do not, do not go on the subways during this. Uh, The Rams, who I don't like. Yeah. With good reason. I I mean, they're they're in the Super Bowl. I don't like them. Okay. They're there illegitimately. Mm -hmm. They are. Did Mm -hmm. you see? What did you think about the call, Colin? (sighs) What call? There wasn't one. There was no. There was no (laughs) call. Good point. It was. Egregious. I mean, nothing that hasn't been said before. Just absolutely. What What is it with him and Vaughn in, in the big words? They're very highly educated. Tell, Not like man. us. We're We're broadcasters, you see, Turner. If you hang around Jeff long enough, it, it, it rubs starts off. to rub off. On this, you. <laughs> this guy, you're, you're you're an engineer, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This This guy's an engineer. He's highly educated. Yeah. You know, I keep, I, I, why he's, he's hanging out with us, I have no idea. These two keep throwing out words like egregious and. Unflappable. It's, it, it's <laughs> like it's like when they were at FCHS, they would like try to top each other. The, today's word is yeah. egregious. I, I'm I'm waiting for somebody to bring out super califragilistic expialidocious. Oh, that's you and a ball that, game mm-hmm. or something. You, that's that's the that's our that's the card we throw on the table. You and I throw on the table when we get with people like this. Yeah, we do. Good morning. You're on morning coffee. Hey, I think it's found out the way to take care of the geese out the golf course. Could somebody go rent a gator and bring him in? <laughs> <laughs> then we'd have Gator Gate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some gators out there. All righty. <laughs> That's the, the only problem is the gators don't do well in the winter. <laughs> they're cold-blooded. <laughs> they're, they're not terribly active. You know, I, one of my great Tom Ulrich stories, you know who yeah, Tom yeah, Tom's absolutely. a great guy. Mm-hmm. One of my great Tom Ulrich stories is I saw a picture. He showed me a picture of this unbelievable um, rattlesnake. And it was sort of perched up on a tuft overlooking this incredibly beautiful lake. And I said, Tom, how did you get there at that particular moment and that background for the snake? He says, real real simple. He says, you go out with a guy that handles rattlesnakes. (laughs) You grab him. You put him in a bag, you take him in and throw him in the freezer for about 30 seconds or for, for a couple minutes. You get him real lethargic, yeah. then you go out and you pose him on the tuft. <laughs> I'm serious! Man, he's braver he's, than I am. Oh, yeah. Whew. That's how you get great pictures of reptiles. 
We could have done that with, uh, what was the Wally guy? the Gator. Wally the Gator. That's right. And Scrappy. And mm-hmm. Scrappy. We could have posed them together. Dancing. I, w- I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if uh, Wally and Scrappy, they have uh, family photos with that guy. Oh, I bet you they do. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> Show all those teeth. <laughs> I bet you his I bet you his vet bill is something, especially when it comes to you know gum disease. Uh, but after yesterday, we're kind of worried what that what that would do to the vet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yesterday we know. Yesterday we we saw that vets have the highest suicide rate. Oof. Over dentists now. Man. And way over engineers. Yeah. I'm just right, saying, right. you guys are pretty happy yeah, by comparison. Happy go lucky. Uh, how far are they above radio broadcasters? We're we're more, we're moving up the chart. Okay. <laughs> it's not the direction you want to be moving. <laughs> I'm just telling you, we, uh, <laughs> you, know, you, 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 we're not number one, but we're fighting to get there. All righty, <laughs> gotta take a break. Yeah, we do. All right. Flax Fashion Flowers in downtown Fairfield can help you score a few brownie pointers with your sweetie this Valentine's Day. Let Flax custom design a fresh floral arrangement or candy and snack basket for that special someone. Or check out their selection of gift items from locally made Ravenswood hollow soaps and lotions to clean burning soy candles. Give them a call at 847-7076 or stop by at 310 East Main in Fairfield. Shop early for the best selection. Flax Fashion Flowers, your florist with a personal touch across from the courthouse in downtown Fairfield. At FNB, we're always keeping your best interest in mind, and now we're offering EverAlert, a notification system that keeps you updated on recent debit card transactions. Sign up for notifications at any FNB location to receive a text or email within minutes of your debit card transactions. And the service is free to all FNB debit card holders. Have questions or want to sign up? Give us a call at 842-2107. FNB, member FDIC. Wireless carrier text message rates or charges may apply. Hi folks, this is Sandy at Gill Sales and Service. When it comes to laundry, it's true what they say. They don't make them like they used to, but Speed Queen still does. Speed Queen washers and dryers are built using premium metal components, not plastic. They're manufactured with rugged, commercial-grade construction, and they're pushed beyond their limits in their state-of-the-art lab to deliver 25 years of premium performance in your home. Speed Queen, built better to last longer. Get your Speed Queen at Gill Sales and Service, 1605 West Main in Fairfield. Eubinger's Furniture Company is having a huge financing special. Now for a limited time, take advantage of no interest financing up to three full years. Minimum purchase and approval required. See store for details. Yes, that's right. At Eubinger's, we know how to help you save big. So now you can get all that furniture and bedding you have been longing for. But hurry before it's too late. Only at Eubinger's Furniture Company, where the financing deals are worth the drive. Highway 50 East, Florida. Everyone is talking about the future these days. With help from me, Steve Thompson, and Country Financial, you can own your future. All you need is the right plan to get you started, the kind of plan that will take into account all the things in your life that matter most. I can work with you to put the pieces in place with insurance solutions to help secure a comfortable tomorrow. No matter what stage of life you're in, now is the time to start developing a plan to own your future. Radar Weather is sponsored by Conard Financial Group at 510 West Delaware in Fairfield with securities offered through Raymond James. Conard Financial Group, investing in the community since 2003. Do you know the difference between a traditional and a Roth IRA? Which one is best suited for your retirement goals? Conard Financial Group is committed to helping you understand the benefits and drawbacks of each. Phone 842-7855 today for help with choosing the retirement account that's right for you. Raymond James Financial Services, member FINRA, SIPC, life well planned. And don't forget to like our Facebook page, Conard Financial Group. Here's your Fairfield area weather forecast. Mostly sunny skies today with a high 30. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 24. Tomorrow, chance for snow, high 35. Cloudy skies, 32 on Sunday. Monday, chance for rain, high 45. And Tuesday, partly cloudy and much colder with a high just 18 on Tuesday. Overnight low was 11. Yesterday's high, 32. Currently, humidity at 67%. Winds are calm. The pressure at 30.4 and holding. Sunshine, we've got 11 here at the WFIW Studios east of Fairfield. Radar looking good, though. Nothing showing up in Illinois nor in any of the adjoining states this morning.
Radar Weather has been sponsored by Connard Financial Group at 510 West Delaware in Fairfield with securities offered through Raymond James. Connard Financial Group, investing in the community since 2003. This show amounts to nothing. And there's plenty more of it. Back now to Morning Coffee on WFIWradio.com and 104.9 FM. Morning Coffee brought to you by TTT Designs in Fairfield. They can bring your design to life. Let TTT take care of all your printing needs. They offer full printing services on almost any surface from glass to wood. Open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5 at 1411 West Main in Fairfield. Back on morning coffee, I just, uh, the, the staff has voted and they want to have all done Fridays. Since uh, Galen came last Friday and Colin's here and they bring food. So yep. we're, 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 like we're angling to bring his mom in. If there's a legacy I want to leave. It's the food that you it's leave. the food that I bring. That's perfect. Yeah, by the way, we also got a message on YouTube uh, wanting to know if you have any good civil engineering jokes. Isn't that an oxymoron? I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, it's a, it's, it's like a fairly like dry, army intelligence. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it's it's not exactly the most humorous field. Um, <laughs> it's dry for the most part. Um, a, a good one liner. Unless is that, you're digging a well, right? Exactly, and then, and then you hope it's not. Um, civil engineers build targets, and mechanical engineers destroy them. Oh, oh there, you yeah. there you go. There you go. Oh, man. Well, anyway. So, I, I, so which one are you? Civil engineer. Oh, okay. yes. Civil engineer. <laughs> yes. I've always known him as civil, personally. <laughs> okay. uh, I was telling you about the Rams. They secured their spot in the Super Bowl. Now they will be assured of being the first team in the NFL to have male cheerleaders at Super, uh, the Super Bowl. So the male cheerleaders of the Rams. That's the right. Female cheerleaders of the U's. The lovable U's. The lovable U's. Yes, really? They were. They were. So it's probably appropriate that the Rams have male cheerleaders. Uh, the Rams spirit squad includes Quentin Perone and Napoleon Jennings. They will be the first men to perform with an NFL cheerleading team during the Super Bowl. What a legacy! Um, they put on Twitter immediately how proud they were to be breaking the glass ceiling. <laughs> I wonder if they'd get oh. tossed from a basket carry up to break that glass ceiling. <laughs> nah, they're, pro- they're, they're probably they're the base. Yeah. They're the base. Yeah, I'm yeah sure. they're, they're probably the base. Um, mm-hmm. The Ravens and the Colts also have men, but of course they did not make it to the Super Bowl because so, so they our, didn't have the NFL cheating for them. So <laughs> the male cheerleaders for the Colts would be the Colts, right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. the females would be the Mares, the Phillies, the Phillies. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a clue. All right, I think we have reached a point where it's time for you to produce, my young civil engineering friend. You have to try to stump us in trivia, okay. and and there will be no math questions. Okay, <clears throat> got the kibosh on the math. You remember, then. remember, okay. we're broadcasters, man. <laughs> it we, was a fun one. I, I'm just we use okay. our fingers and our toes. I I already I asked it to Jeff, um, and that's that's enough. All right. All he, right. he couldn't answer it. No, he, he knew it right. He didn't even let me finish oh, the question. He knew it right away. Man, so that's that's depressing. I'll uh, so, I'll so have may, him rub maybe in. you should just throw that question out there just to see if we can. All right, answer. well, go ahead. Yes, I'll start with that. All right, all right. Start with you know what you guys think to be the worst and hope to build from there. Good. Go ahead. Um, it's all yours. Stick with me. Stick with me till the end of the question. Oh, that's it. a long question. Not apparently. good. Not good. Don't get thrown off or anything. Okay. What is the name of the mathematical sequence where each number is equal to the sum of the two numbers before it. So this sequence starts 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. You, you catch my drift on the sequence? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, There's uh, a certain name for you that. You already lost me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's named after yeah. some Italian guy. Oh, really? It was named after an Italian guy? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dean uh, Martin. <laughs> um, <laughs> Strictly Italian, not Italian-American. Oh, oh, oh. Vito... Buscaglia. Uh, I'm going with you on You're that. Closer than Dean Martin. It is the Fibonacci sequence. The, fi- well, the Fibonacci. I feel so stupid that I didn't know that. Fibonacci. So we'll, we'll <laughs> build from there. Of okay. course I knew that. It's okay. It's just I a warm up. That's all it was. Okay. We will. Uh, <laughs> we'll go to something. Uh, something 
hopefully in your lifetime. I tried mm-hmm. to tailor it toward old guys. I, I was cultivating old you guys. Know, you guys rocking this quiz, so we'll All right. see. All right. Oh, okay. Um, so, so he looked up online. Yeah. Old guy. Tri- <laughs> right. Old dude trivia. I questions. just copy and pasted the first ten that I saw. Grumpier okay. old men. <laughs> Walter Matthau. Yes. Um, what year was the Nintendo Entertainment System released in America? <sighs> the original. The original. The original, right? the original NES. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say eighty-three. 82. Both close. It's 1985. Okay. Well, it was in Japan in 83, I suppose, okay. but then made there its you, way over. We, we, we showed a small amount of intelligence. Hey, you're, there, yeah. you're close. That's, right. that's, that's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Nachi. Okay. Um, this is an interesting one. Um, it's about the Cardinals. What is Augustus Bush Jr.'s retired number for the Cardinals? It's a two-part question, so I'll ask you that one first. What's his retired number? Um... I want to say. Oh, I know that one. On the wall out there in the left field. Yeah, right. Uh, It's 80 something, and I don't know if I. I'm going to take a guess and say 88. All right, Mark. 84. 85. It's 85 Ah. again. I didn't mean to double up, but now the question is why is it 85? That was his age. Yeah. When, yeah, exactly. when they retired it. Yeah. Exactly right. Yep. He, was he didn't live much longer. On his 85th really birthday. A lot of beer. Well, he didn't have anything to do. <laughs> Drive well, those Clydesdales around, oh, right? Yeah, that's right. all he had to do. Sit on the seat. <laughs> um, all right, moving to uh, kind of some technology. <laughs> technology. What is, this, is, this is a modern question. Right. What is the parent company of Google? Mm. I didn't a, know they have a parent company. It has a kind of overarching Mr. Google. Mr. Google. <laughs> <laughs> I have no I idea. I can guess. It's it's called Alphabet Inc. Wouldn't have known. Alphabet. That. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nah. Alphabet Inc. The big umbrella under which Google, Google. falls. No, no uh, didn't know that. We suck. We do. <laughs> well, it's early. I'm hoping we to get better. A few more minutes. Things okay. can get better. I'm, I'm going to end with some good, good ones. Thing so. We right. brought food because we That's right. out before <laughs> the mouth not. That's why I did. You questioned me. Chow helps. All right, what is the oldest continually populated city in the U.S.? The oldest continually populated I would have just said the oldest, but then it could have been a toss-up about some other cities. So, Um, Go ahead. I've got one, I think. Plymouth, Massachusetts. How about... Oh, no, 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 no. How about... I want to change that. Well, go ahead. St. Augustine, Florida. Okay, Mike? I say Jamestown. Mark nailed it. St. Augustine, Florida. Good job, buddy. 1565. And Jamestown, I, I think, would have been the oldest if it weren't, you know, abandoned. Yes. And then re- Oh, then it was re- So it's not continually. So you were half right. Mm-hmm. Um, which psychologist created the theory of the hierarchy of needs? Oh, at the base, I, do, I know that. Physiological. I understand that. Moving up to. Okay. Abraham Maslow. That's correct. Very good job. Yeah. Maslow's hierarchy. Wow. I'm, Look I, at I, you. You're, uh, you're getting in the rhythm. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a that was a big thing in uh, education. College. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. mm-hmm. What year was the NBA ABA merger? Oh my! Well, it would have been about the the, the St. Louis uh, the Spirits of St. Louis were a big part of that because mm-hmm. they uh, did not get an invite. No, they did right. not. Um, so that would have been um, Bob Costas was twenty two. He was the voice of him. I'd say seventy four. I'm thinking 73. 76. Uh, I was closer. Man, you're right there. But I was in the, I was in the Those year questions are really hard. That's why I kind of yeah. hated to do yeah. that to that's you. That's okay. Well, you're doing it. That's fine. Um, You'll never come back, but that's, that's okay. A, that's that's a, I'll make well, the no, list no, of all I'm here. Back. He brings food. He brings food. Okay. <laughs> Just he not be on the show yeah. exclusively to bring the food. Uh, what is the only book in the Bible that does not use God's name? Mm. That's interesting. Mm, that does is not use God's name. Mm-hmm. Or some form of God, you know, Lord. Jehovah, whatever you. Oh, I'm going to go with the first one, Genesis. Right? Deuteronomy. It is Esther. Esther. The book of Esther. Esther. In the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wouldn't have known that. Yeah. That's a, that's a good question. That is a good trivia question. This Swedish scientist and engineer is credited with 350, 355 inventions, including dynamite, and began awarding prizes named after him in 1901 to individuals who contributed, quote, the greatest benefit to mankind in many different fields every year. What I is his I name? Well, I don't know what his name is, but his initials are TNT. 
<laughs> no. Mark, you know? Mr. Nobel. That is correct. Alfred oh, Nobel. Yeah. He did, he's the one that brought us dynamite? He yeah. is the one. And he's the one that also has a peace prize? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Irony, right? Yeah. The original, it wasn't in the original five. That peace prize wasn't. Son of a gun. Yeah. Um, all right. Now build into some more that you guys think will be right up your we alley. Appreciate it. <laughs> second <laughs> second to last ball. one. Yeah. yeah no. I, I wanted to build your confidence. Mm-hmm. Um, this, uh, this Swedish 70s pop band oh, took no. its name from the first oh, initials no. of the God. band's Four members. We know because we've been schooled by the guy that used to sit uh, in your seat. And and you know, and we also know because really how many seventies pop bands were there from I know Sweden. Sweden. Swedish yeah. Swedish gave it away. Not, yeah. Abba. That is correct. Yes. That is correct. And now the uh the final question. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is the big one. This is more gonna hit out of the park. It's also a two parter. This is oh. the money question. Okay. It's it's way too easy to do the final question. The money I, question. I, that's how it fell. Who played the original James Bond in the first the first rendition of the movie? Okay, well, oh well, man, uh, that was Sean Connery. Right? No, 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 it no, wasn't. It's not Sean Connery. Oh man, I know this one. I know it's not Sean Connery though. Who is it? It is Sean Connery. Is it I really? Thought. It is. <laughs> and there was somebody before that. And now the second part. Yes. What was the first James Bond movie? Wasn't it Goldfinger? I thought it was Doctor No. What is it? Doctor No. You were Mark right on that. it. Yeah. Well, we, together, we did it. We're running out of time, aren't we? We, we are uh, running over time. Okay, well, let, let's do this. Thank you, Colin. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you for bringing the food. And Happy to be here. T- tell Mom she's coming up next, as long as That's she right. brings food, okay? Thanks for being with us, and thank you for being with us on Morning Coffee. We'll be back on Monday. Come back anytime. Talk sports and classic.